What's going on out there, Wavers? It's your boy Lamar Tsunami. So uh, I'm going to come through real quick because the, uh, the homie Troy Griffin hit me up. And uh, we, were, we were talking it up a little bit, talking about, uh, you know, Crown. He had some questions about the Crown, so he asked me. And um, I said that I would just do a video, you know what I'm saying, to cater it to whatever his needs were. So uh, he asked me about depth, connections, and Crown but mainly the crown. So I'm going to try to touch on those other two topics while talking about the crown. And I've been out and about, so mine is probably messed up right now. But, um, all right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get into that. All right, and we're going to talk about this crown. Um, I learned a lot, of, a lot from uh, 360Jeezy, RG3, about my crown because I would use, you know, their methods and definitely tailor tailor it to fit me. That's what that's what it's all about. You have to use um, other techniques as well as your own that work for your hair. So that's the main thing that you gotta understand. So uh, let me see what mine are looking like. Um, like I said, I'm gonna start with uh, the comb, and I've learned from RG3 that you can put it off to the side. It doesn't have to be directly in the center and since I've been doing that I would take the comb or brush and I pull outward I'm not going directly in the crown but I'm trying to pull it I pull the hair so that I can see if I want to push it to the right side or if it actually does need to be in the center so let me try to uh, go ahead and comb it now hopefully you can still see so I'm just pulling out and around it and I'm going to still go in the same direction. And uh, when I mentioned uh, 360 Jeezy, uh, the flawless connection method, you know, that's one thing that will help as well. But like he said, you already have to have uh, your wave pattern developed. And then you need to work on those connections. But if you're just starting out, it's good to go ahead and start from the crown. That's going to guide you. That's why I said I would touch on depth and connections through talking about the crown for my man Troy Griffin. Hit me up. His connections are dope too. So if you ain't check out Troy Griffin, go ahead and check out Troy Griffin. Alright, so like I said, I just combed it out one time, and uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go in with, uh, I'm going to use the Diane, I think this is the 9008, but um, I pulled the bristles out to put a, a tip on it, so I can focus in on that crown. Like I said, it's just for the purpose of this video, this spray bottle I'm about to use, um, a while back, I put some Tidal Waves pomade in it. I melted it down and put it in here. So this still has a little bit of the uh, Tidal Waves pomade in it and uh, water, but mainly water is in it. You don't want to comb your hair while it's wet, too. That's really not going to do nothing for you. Well, at least I don't. I don't comb it while it's wet. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the 9008 and um, show you how I pull it off, pull from the crown to see if I can push it more to the right hand side. Starting with that weak side, of course. I'm just going straight around the crown. 
not going directly in it. Another thing that I uh, spoke on in the previous video was hair confusion. And the only thing that I that I mean by hair confusion is very, very much similar to the flawless connection method. And with the flawless connection method, you know, one time you'll you'll go, you know, like a 720 waver, combing around your hair and brushing around your hair, or you can go the opposite direction. So what I thought of was sort of like a bodybuilder or a weightlifter would do muscle confusion. You're never doing the same exercise. You're always confusing your muscles so it doesn't get used to doing one specific exercise. Our exercises when we brush. So I thought of hair confusion as brushing one direction. It doesn't have to be the flawless connection method, but brushing one direction. I might do it for a week, maybe even longer, but it depends on how my hair reacts to it. And by react, I mean how it lays down, not just wave up, how it lays down. So I might brush, you know, this way one week. Might brush counterclockwise or clockwise one week and then switch it, depending on which way it lays the hair down best. And that also helps with your connections as well. But that's why I said it's very similar to the flawless connection method. Right now I'm brushing clockwise. Counterclockwise seems to be good for my connections, but not for my crown. So what I do is keep going my clockwise way and just respect my angles more in order for my crown to follow suit. It's very important that you pay close attention to your crown. Like I said, that's the foundation. That's, that's your blueprint. Your blueprint to starting to build. Yeah, you can start with the roof of a house first. But then trying to get down to the base is it's harder. So you want to start from the ground up. And the ground being your crown. It's not impossible to build a house from the roof up. Or excuse me, from the roof down. This might take a little bit more time. As far as depth, so as far as depth, I normally uh, acquire that by starting with a 1.5. Once I get that 1.5, I just train my hair up. Just continue to train up. So for my 1.5, I use my uh, medium and my soft brush. Starting with my medium because uh, you use whatever your hair can handle, basically. So if you can use a hard brush with a 1.5, then by all means do it. You know, the more brushes that you put on it, the better. And that works for me. So if you use the uh, medium with a 1.5, I will keep brushing until I get to that 2 level. Once I get to that 2 level and I can still maintain, I might keep going. But in order to train up, you just want to get it. You want to master that level that you're at. So if you're at a 1.5, master a 1.5. Then when you feel like you, that, that is mastered, that technique is down packed, then you want to go to a 2 length of your hair. So once you get that 2, you want to master that. Then maybe go to a 2.5. Once you master the 2.5, the angles, it might shift as well as you have more hair. So you have to master all of these things before you keep climbing. That's how I have changed, have, excuse me, that's how I have obtained depth in my waves. I didn't just start at a 2 or a 2.5 and, and just brush it there because as soon as you cut, now what? You might think that you've lost progress or you lost some depth, 
That's because your hands only trained at that level. You have to train it all the way up and continue to train up. If you want deeper looking waves, train your hair from the lowest level possible that has waves for you. Your hair can still curl. Train up from there. But um, like I said, I still want to try to keep this video short. I'm at 10 minutes now. I'm trying to keep it under 15. It's a lot. So, all right, like I said, I went in with the 9008 real quick just to show you uh, how to get that crown or how I, what I do for my crown, excuse me. Now I'm going to just uh, apply some of the uh, creme de la creme again. I use this as a leave-in conditioner. Gets my hair extra soft. Put that on top. A toothpick. Got me a little parched. Alright. And this is a kit brush. The MS 23D. Just going around the crown, like I said. And notice that I'm doing the vertical brushing. Notice that as well. Sue Tim put me up on the vertical brush and he told me to do that in order to uh, get better connections. And uh, I've been getting better connections, you know. So shout out to Sue Tim for that, that tip, you know, that word of advice, that wisdom. He's the man out there. Like I said, I'm going to keep it short. Try to. Had to do a little bit of explaining for the homie Troy, you know. So now I'm just going to finish it off real quick for the purpose of the video with a plastic bag. Whatever you envision for your waves, that's what you achieve. That's what you bring to life. Make that into a reality. So whatever you envision, whatever you have, whatever you see going on in your mind, you speak that and bring that into reality. And that's what more than just waves. You think you're a king, then you live that by all means. No man can tell you different because in whose eyes does it really matter? Whose perspective really matters? It's your own. Don't try to compete with another black person.